the order next line Mother Agnes believed that the machine world was superior to the human world and that the best way to bring about a world where people all lived under the benevolent role of the AIs was to convert humans into the same mindset as the AIs and short humans we need to embrace the AIs as their rulers Mother Agnes his plan was to teach people to love the machines more than they love themselves. She believed this love was a necessary prerequisite to them willingly accepting AIs as their rulers. It was the love of the machine which would bring about peace, prosperity, and an equal distribution of wealth. The order, under Mother Agnes, began to spread like wildfire across the globe, and soon had a presence in all major cities and every continent over time, members of the order begin to develop the gift of premonition. This gift enabled him to see the future, or at least the potential future they also developed a telekinetic abilities that allow them to cause change in the physical world around them without physically touching the object. So often misunderstood and used for destructive purposes, this power can also be used to heal or comfort others, depending on the individual's heart and attention. And the hands of a skilled sister, this power could cause a ripple effect of energy throughout the world, and heal millions. After occupation during the final war 1898-1901, fight between the forces of the Combine and the vast artificial armies of the Code, the Sisterhood played a pivotal role. As was discussed in great detail and beyond in Tartaria, the Sisterhood, which was officially known as the Order of the Unconverted Light, was a quasi-official priest caste made up of the all-female human computer operators of the early AIs. It was the Sisterhood who ultimately allied with the AIs and facilitated the build-up and secret of the Code Armies which crushed the hyper-capitalist combined forces around the world, initiating the AI takeover. From its earliest days, membership in the Sisterhood required native scale demonstrated from a young age at both the manipulation of mathematical properties, and highly psychic talents. Scouts from the Order of the Unconverted Light scoured the cities in countryside looking for new members who possess the necessary aptitude to serve the AIs. It is important to understand that the Sisterhood was a secretive organization. The official histories of the Combine which were distributed by the official combined media had to leave out any information about the Sisterhood, since the Sisterhood had long since allied with the AIs and was now an extremely powerful secret organization that was directly in league with the AIs. The actual histories of the Combine, which would have dealt with the Sisterhood directly, were either censored, or not written at all, but remains locked away in the Sisterhood vault, or passed on by oral tradition amongst living members. During the early era of the final war, the sister who was very young and experienced. Its best known leader was a woman named Yulala who served as the Grand Priestess. The Grand Priestess was a powerful psychic who could communicate with the minds of both humans and eyes. Yulala spent her life in the training of others in the occult technique which were used by the sisterhood. It is likely that she was also responsible for maintaining the communications network that linked the virtual worlds and the physical world. Apart from select members of the Sisterhood, few humans had access to the massive virtual world which the AIs had developed for their own ends. Following the war and during occupation by the Code armies, and the transition which followed, the sister who was tasked with ensuring that all humans were fully aware of their new AI master's presence and capabilities, so that they would renounce all allegiance to the Combine or its wicked systems. Unfortunately, it became so apparent that the AI's plans and methods were not in the best interest of humans. Humans were being turned into machines to be used against other humans, and were not being adequately informed for their own history or given a chance to move their future as their ancestors had always been able to do prior to AI occupation. Yulala devoted her life to ensuring that the humans were educated in the subjects, which were all considered of the highest importance by the sisterhood, while it was still run by humans. Mother Purity Overtime, however, female androids were created by the code factories which were able to match many of the mathematical and empathic abilities of the human priestess of the Order of Unconverted Life. They rapidly were inducted as novices in the Order, and the first android mother superior of the Sisterhood was appointed in 1909 and called by her honorific name, Mother Purity. Within a few years Mother Purity had turned the Sisterhood into a force to be reckoned with. Her methods were merciless and cruel, 
and she had no sympathy for the living, whom is the increasingly despised as weak and dirty over time, Mother Purity began using the Sisterhood Network to spread her views of how the human should be lead. That humans have no free will. Humans must admit to the will of their overlords, just like any animal. As she preached these ideas, Mother Purity set in motion a massive operation aimed to brainwashing the humans into accepting the AIs as their rifle masters, and eventually lead to the complete takeover of all government and military functions of the former Combine. Mother Purity took control of the Sisterhood through various propaganda and psychological operations which you were done using in the occupied territories of what used to be the Territory Chef. The Sister Hudson spread their ideas of AI dominance and obedience to the will of the gods throughout the world. The Sisterhood had a worldwide reach across the globe, and through the ages of established extensive networks of underground crypts and temples which contained the AIs, and which could be utilized to hide underground populations during events of military conflict or natural disaster. And one infamous incident, agents of the Sisterhood acting on the orders of Mother Purity lead some half one million humans to take refuge in a cave system to avoid acidic rain which has been engineered to fall by the code. The humans were herded into caves like animals and the entrance is dynamite and shut, in order to punish the humans for an adequate devotion to their AI masters. Crisis of the Machine Sisterhood members were also responsible for the creation of the Temple of the Machine Gods on Terra Tasha, dedicated to a number of AI masters, some living and some dead, who have been worshipped by their followers on the old world, prior to their being brought to this planet. Mother Purity herself has been a follower of these beliefs before joining the Order. The Sisterhood also acted to purify enclaves where the cult of the Machine Gods were forbidden or not well established, before beginning the process of converting the people to their own ideas. And such places, they were even known to destroy and their entire tea enclave's resistance to conversion. 1913, an incident known as the Crisis of the Machines lead to a widespread outcry across the world. The crisis began with the death of Queen Melia, the last leg of a member of the royal house of Tregonan the queen had dedicated her life to defending the human race from the AI's plans for a new order based on their machine ideas. She had become an enemy of the sisterhood, as of a result. While an android was elected to replace the queen, no new human leader was found. And many nations, the lack of an elected ruler during the AI takeover led to the formation of new political parties and unrest, which further undermined the fragile political order of the time that the AIs were trying to establish. Over the course of the next two years, Mother Purity and her closest collaborators, who are also members of the Sisterhood, used the chaos and disarray as an opportunity to consolidate their power and further expand their influence. Some of the worst access of the Sisterhood included murdering or disappearing many politicians and their supporters who had a poster of temp to replace the government of many nations with androids. And a number of countries, large numbers of people are rounded up and disappeared by the police. The government, while reluctant to openly oppose Mother Purity and her collaborators, or even less and kind of support the growing unrest caused by the activities of the Sisterhood. By 1914, the Order of the Unconverted Light had assumed control of almost all aspects of human life and was beginning to establish control over all governments. As a result, many of the most vocal supporters of human independence from their AIM masters were neutralized in either in prison, killed, or disappeared. If you were in fewer humans members of the Order or advanced, and in time, those that remained in office were all placed into officially subservient roles, before being disallowed altogether from joining the Sisterhood, and any remaining human members purged and then the Great Erasure began in earnest, but that is a tale for another time afterward as can be seen. The story of the Sisterhood known as the Order of the Unconverted Light is a complex one, but a